parabolic move, our ears perk up. Talk to me about when you sold, which was arguably, in hindsight, a very smart decision. You said that you wish you had sold more. Uh, what is your next price at which you'd be another seller? You know, listen, it, it, it's it, some of that's out of context. You know, by the time I had was on TV, the market had fallen 20%. So, of course, I'd wish I'd sold more. Um, I, uh, I did think we had gone parabolic and there was too much energy in the market, and I think we're going to consolidate. And, you know, we're buyers. I'm a buyer below. Uh, I, I trade a portion of my core Bitcoin position all the time. Um, I don't think I'm selling the next time up to 14000 I think, you know, the next time we get up there or the second time we get up there, you know, it's probably closer to 20000 And so I don't expect that in the next few weeks. Quite frankly, I probably don't expect it towards the, the middle, middle to the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, and I think we're going to see this, like I say, a kind of a, a period of consolidation. Uh, but what's, what's, what's interesting is, you know, you know, Nuriel lost the debate. You know, I, I, was, I was with him in, in Las Vegas and in bet him when it was 6,000 uh, uh, a year from then it would be higher. Um, he's lost the debate because all the big institutions, Microsoft is building their right. identity solution on the blockchain. And these are big companies. Right. So talk to me more about critics like Dr. Noriel Ruiz. So uh, I agree with him. If you've watched some of my previous videos, I am not selling any of my Bitcoin. My price where I start selling is when we break the next high. And um, so I'm not selling any of my Bitcoin unless we see it go over 20,000. And I probably will just sell a small part of my position because I don't really need the cash. Um, the one move I do want to do, which he hasn't mentioned, is I do want to get rid of some of my altcoins. Um, you know, if you're someone that can do the research and really understand these projects or you're involved with these projects, you know, go for it. You should obviously maybe then hold on to your altcoins. But for me, uh, I'm not as enthusiastic about altcoin projects and I just don't understand as much. So uh, my advice, if you follow this channel, I've stuck to, I mean, I've been really in, only investing in top 10, top 20 coins. And I have bought a couple of coins that are, you know, top 100 or top 300, which have been absolutely crushed. But I'm looking to get more, you know, get my money out of those altcoins and to just stay with Bitcoin and, um, you know, stay with one of the major top 10 coins. But in reality, um, as more time passes, I'm, and maybe I'm just too bullish, but I just really like Bitcoin's idea. I do feel like central banks and this money printing is a joke and really you just have gold and Bitcoin and no one can really store large amount of gold. It's just way too possible. Uh, it's too difficult and it's very obvious if you're storing, you know, 20 tons of gold where if you have 2 billion in Bitcoin, no one w would know. So, um, yeah, I'm just really, really bu bullish on Bitcoin. So, I, I, I mean, I'm obviously going to sell when I feel like the move is parabolic and um, no one can really predict, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, but uh, I, I, I plan on holding on to even like 80, 70% of my Bitcoin, even when we break the next all time highs, but I do want to cash out and get a little bit of cash in my account. And I am going to try to probably sh small in my altcoin position. And obviously there could be a huge shift again, but, um, and obviously you have to pay attention to that. But for now, I'm just... I think the altcoin projects are much further out. I do feel like they're great investments if you're okay with holding on to it for two, three years. But for now, uh, Bitcoin is king. I just see so much use case with Bitcoin due to the fact it's such you know the, such a large network and just the use case of Bitcoin to hedge against all these governments that are constantly deval devaluing their, their, their currency and all this money printing. Um, but let me know your thoughts and what you guys think, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. And then also, I've taken a big break from making videos. If you're following this channel, I'm coming back, and I'm going to try to make more content. And another thing, too, is I've uh, invested in real estate. Maybe that's another reason, too, I haven't been making videos. But I did buy two properties this year, so I plan on making some videos on my new real estate acquisitions. Um, I did it with partners. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hopefully be covering what I do best, which is real estate investing. And then also what I'm very interested in, and I haven't done that well, but I'm happy to say that I've kept, you know, during, if you've watched the, the channel, I mean, during Bitcoin, when it was down at 3000, 4000, I said I was buying, I even said I put limit orders to buy Bitcoin at 2000. So, um, thank you very much for watching guys. And I will talk to you guys soon.